I'm Sophia and I'm an environmental engineer at General Motors. We make cars and trucks and we're working really hard to make them all electric in the future so that they don't need gas for power. Electric cars don't have any tailpipe emissions, so they don't contribute to climate change or air pollution. There are a lot of things that burn fuel, like airplanes, cars, and barbecue grills. In general, burning fuel releases gases that can contribute to climate change or air pollution. That's why I became an environmental engineer, so I can find ways to keep all of the things we need and have a stable climate and clean air. So to show you what I'm talking about, we're gonna do a little experiment so you can see how many particles are in the air by you. You'll need petroleum jelly, some string, a pen or a pencil or a marker, some poster board, scissors, hole punch, and a notebook to take notes. So once you have all of your materials ready, let's get started. Find an area in which you can hang several cut out pieces of poster board. You can perform this experiment in your home, yard, or another area of your choice, depending on where you want to examine how clean the air is. Cut the poster board into several three by three inch squares and be sure to ask your parents for help with the scissors. Punch a hole in the top of each piece of poster board and tie a piece of string through the holes so you can hang the cutouts in your area of choice. Now smear a layer of petroleum jelly onto one of the sides of the square. You can use your fingers or you can use a brush. If you wanna hang your squares somewhere high up, make sure you ask your parents for help and just hang these in any area of the house or outside that, that you would like. And make sure you record the areas you've hung your cutouts in your notebook and take notes on what you see as the time passes. Wait six to 10 days to collect your squares and examine your results. Now, I already did my experiment, so I'm gonna show you my results. I hung my cutouts in my bedroom, in my kitchen, in my porch and outside of my bedroom window. And this is what they looked like after five days. What I found is that the cutout on my porch had the most particles and the cutout in my bedroom had the least. Why do you think that might be? Here's what I think. I think this one on my porch has the most particles because it was closest to the road and the railroad tracks with trains passing daily. Let me know what you find in your experiment. I can't wait to see your results and why you think some pieces had more particles than others. And make sure you think about how you can reduce greenhouse gas emissions and pollution. You can plant trees, make sure you reuse and recycle things in your house, and think about times when you can walk or ride a bike instead of driving somewhere. Every little thing counts. Have fun!